So now what we need to do is that we need to work on the user interface. As you can see here, I'm displaying this text. And of course, we don't want to do that. Instead, we want to work on the user interface and give the user the opportunity to interact with the chatbot. So here, the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to return to the HTML uh, page. So instead of using this, first of all, I'm going to remove this, this uh, function. There is no need to use this function anymore because this was just for the sake of demonstration. So I'm going to remove this and I'm, I'm going to use it here. So here, instead of using the HTTP response, I'm going to say here render. And then I'm going to render, I'm going to return the request first. I'm going to say request. And then the second parameter is going to be blog here. Blog and then for slash index dot HTML. And the, I'm, I'm not going to return a third parameter because there is nothing to return. Let me save and let me head over to the browser to test. So now in the browser, let me refresh. And if I refresh here, let me refresh. If it doesn't work, it means that the server is not running. So I need to restart the server here. Uh, let me let me first remove this from the from the URL. We need to remove this article. There is no need to use this article anymore. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to make sure that the server is up and running. So the server is up and running. Let me refresh one more time. And as you can see, it's going to return this page. So it works successfully. But now, instead of displaying this, instead of displaying this uh, page, empty page, empty HTML page, we need to work on the, here in the index, and instead of displaying, uh, this is uh, Django app, we need to work on the, uh, in, uh, on the user interface. So I'm going to remove, first of all, I'm going to remove this. Uh, this is Django app. And instead, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say chat bot app. This is the first thing that I'm going to do. The second thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to display here a box where it's going to allow, where it's going to contain the messages between the user interface and the chatbot, as well as input to let the user send messages to the to the chatbot. So here, here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a dev. I'm going to say dev, and then inside that dev. I'm going to first create another div because this is going to work as the container of the chatbot. And I'm going to give this div an ID. I'm going to say ID. And the ID is going to be chatbot. The reason why I give this an ID is because first, I need to use it in the CSS. Second, I need to use it in case we want to uh, use it with JavaScript to access this div. So it's, it's helpful to use the ID. The next thing that we need to do is that we need to display just a static message for now, a static message inside that uh, uh, inside that uh, div. So I'm going to say here p paragraph, and then I'm going to say here class, uh, that class is going to be bot text. This is the reason why I'm uh, I give this paragraph a a class is because I want to use this to design this paragraph or uh, or uh, chatbot messages. And here, for now, I'm going to say hi there. This is just a static message. And I'm going to remove it later, but this is just for the sake of uh, displaying how the design is going to look like. And I'm going to display this hi there inside a span. I'm going to say here span. So it's going to be inside a span. I'm going to, mo I'm going to move it to the, to the span here. I'm going to say hi there. Next, I'm going to create here the input. So here I'm going to say below this dev. I'm going to say another dev. And this time, this dev is going to have uh, an ID. And that ID is going to be user input. User input. Again, I'm using this input to for many reasons. But for now, it's, it's, um, it's important to give it an ID because uh, I might need to use it in the CSS or in the uh, CSS uh, or in the uh, JavaScript, but, but for now, just just make sure that you have given this div a, an ID. Next, I'm going to create an input, input, because I want to allow the user to type a message. And that input is going to first have a type. That type is going to be text, because we want, to, we want the user to type text. Second, I'm going to give this input an ID. And the ID is going to be text input, text input. 
And this is very, very important because this, this ID is going to allow me to access this input, the text that's inside this input. Next, I'm going to give this input a name, and the name is, is probably the most important thing. The name is going to allow me to interact with the input um, or connect the, the input with Python, with the Python code. And the name is going to be user message. Finally, I'm going to say placeholder here, placeholder, and the placeholder is just a text that uh, gives, user, gives the user uh, a hint about what to type. So I'm going to say type your message. This is for the input. Uh, uh, with the input, we need, uh, we need another input, which is a button. So I'm going to create another input, but this time this input is going to be a button. So I'm going to say type and the type is going to be button. Here it's going to be button. And I'm going to also give it an ID. I'm going to say ID. And the ID is going to be button, button input, button input. And the type is going to be, the type is going to be actually submit. The type, I'm going to change the type to submit and the, the ID to, uh, the ID to, uh, to button input. And the value, the value is the text that's being displayed on the button. So the value here can be anything you want, but it's better to say send, for example, send. So you need to differentiate between the type and the value. The value is what's being displayed on the user, or uh, what the user is going to see on the button. The type is the type that... Um, that determines whether the input is a text or input uh, is a text or number or something else or email or a button so if you want a button you need to say submit and now we are good to go let me now save and let me head on over to the browser to test now if i refresh as you can see here it's going to say chatbot app and here it's going to say hi there and now we have an input and we have a button but of course, this is just the HTML code and we need to work on the CSS to make this look better.